Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to animate photos in Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see right here, Tyree Kill is zooming in, while the background is zooming out, and the football is moving into place. So it's a really cool um, effect, and as you can see right here, here's the photo not moving. So here's the animated photo, and the last like second, the photo isn't moving. So you can see the difference. It's a really, well, well, you may not think it's that obvious, you can immediately tell as soon as the photo stops animating, so you can tell it definitely looks, you know, a lot nicer, and definitely adds a lot more um, to the actual photo. Now granted, every photo is going to be different, some photos may not might not look good animated, but I just want to kind of give you a couple different ideas. So as you can see right here, what you want to do is you want to import a background layer. Now you could have the background layer being a moving video, I've seen one, um, uh, animated photo where like they had like the they had the, the normal layers, but the background like the sky was moving. So you could have a, like a video actually in the background. The background could be something moving. It could be anything you want. Basically, you want to think of this as like a whole bunch of different layers, basically just stacking on top of each other. Every photo is going to be different, but again, I just want to give you a couple different ideas. So as you can see right here, here is the background layer right here. So. As you can see right here, here is the background layer um, right there. Now what you want to do is you want to import the photo um, on top of the background layer um, right there. Now what you want to do is I'm just going to uh, uh, create another copy because I'm actually going to cut out the football as a separate layer. So you want to, just in case you have like multiple different things, you want to probably create um, a couple different um, layers. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to head over to the effects panel right here. I'm just going to apply a mask. Just going to apply a draw mask right here, and I'm just going to make a rough selection um, around Tyreek Hill. Of course, if this is, you know, a serious um, edit, obviously put a lot more time into the edit. But you know, it's going to make a semi rough selection because this video is all about going over the basics of creating an animated photo. Um, and that's basically it. Okay, so as you can see right here, you have Tyreek Hill um, cut out right there. So as you can see right here, you just have Tyreek Hill. And if I take him out right there, as you can see, there we go. And then the background, if I take out the background, that's what you have right there. Just to you know, give you an idea of what's going on. Now, as you can see right here, oh, hold on a second, but he still has some spots right there. So what you want to do is you want to create a compound clip by holding Option G. As you can see right there there is a compound clip. Now the reason I wanted to apply a compound clip is because if you apply two masks on the same clip, uh, a Final Cut Pro starts to lag. Uh, that could just be the result of my computer not being the fastest, but I found that when you're adding another mask onto the same layer, it's good to create a compound clip because it like tricks Final Cut into thinking this is a completely different um, layer, and then it's a lot smoother. So if you're ever trying to apply multiple draw masks onto one clip and the Final Cut's laggy, go ahead and just create a compound clip and then add the second draw mask. So let's go ahead and just invert the mask right here, and I, I, I won't worry about feathering um, right now. As you can see, there we go. Tyreek Hill is, you know, close cutout. It's just pretty well, you know, cut out. Obviously, you could put a lot more time um, and effort into the this effect if you want, but just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to do like a rough selection. Okay, so let's tackle the next layer right here. Obviously, you know if you're doing basketball or football, um, you're going to use this. Obviously, if you don't, you're not person's not like throwing a ball or catching a ball then obviously you know you can't do this but there we go right here let's just make a horrible horrible selection um, around the football right there and there you go now we have the football all cut out now this could be all up to you as you can see right here if I move the football right here you have the football move like this now as you can see right here the anchor point is right here but let's say maybe you want the anchor point to be directly um, on the football so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a copy uh, you'll see why in a second so as you can see right here now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just basically gonna try to line this football up with the anchor point right there now this just depends on your personal preference it might it might not look good or you know exactly where the ball is because the anchor point is by default always going to be in the middle so we go we kind of have the anchor point centered on the football so you can see it scales by the football right there and then I just think that looks um, a lot better right there that to me is just my personal preference so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and now I'm gonna just drag it back into place as close as I can and then delete the bottom layer I I just want to do that just for kind of like a placeholder um, right there. So you can see right here, now let's kind of show how it works. 
So you see, there we go, Tyreek Hill is scaling up, and then you can now move the ball separately right there. So as you can see, you've basically broken down into um, four diff three different layers. So I'll just name this um, football just to make it easier. So here's the football layer right here. So now I can move this independently. Tyree Kill, I can move independently. And then the background layer, um, I can move um, independently right there. So now let's go to keyframing. So to click on this clip right here, place a keyframe on scale. And I'm gonna go to the end of the background layer and I'm gonna turn it maybe to like 200 um, and 90 right there. Just, you know, a, a good reference right there. So let's go ahead and just play it and see the, watch the background as you can see, the background starts to slowly but surely zoom out right there. So now it comes to Tyree Killer, the subject. Now, I think a couple things when it comes to this effect, you could try to get key from the position. It might look good for your video. Um, I would think rotation is an, another good idea. Scale is obviously, you know, the most important thing. So let's go ahead and click on scale right here. You could rotate it, but for this one, I'm just going to scale it in um, right there. Again, you could rotate, change the position, and rotate if you want. So I'm going to just type in the scale to 115. Uh, that might be a little too big but I'll just say 115 um, right there wait for it to render as you can see there we go Tyree Kale is zooming in while the background is zooming out so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go ahead place a keyframe on scale and I'm gonna place a keyframe on position so this is at 435 I'm just gonna type in 335 you can, of course you know adjust the position to your liking you don't have to move it by 100 or whatever now as you can see this this scale went to 115 and because the football is in the same photo as Tyree Kill, we want the scale to be um, the same obviously see the football is not in the same picture you don't want to worry about the scale because it's in the same picture we want the scale to be correct so let's go ahead and just type in this move by a hundred so 435 just so the football is moving over you can of course move it over um, a, a lot more if you want but that's just a couple different ideas right there so let's zoom it in so basically at the end of the day the background is zooming out Tyreek Hill is zooming in and the football is basically floating looking like he is Looks like Tyreek Hill is about to catch it. You could move the football um, farther. You could just, you could move the football like this. You could move the football even more farther over. You could just keep messing with it um, until you get the look that you want. So there you go. At the end of the day, the effect that I like is the background zooms out, the subject zooms in, and then if you have a ball or something to kind of like float around, it's definitely, you know, um, a really cool effect. And also I highly encourage you to add some moderate motion blur on top, just to help make the key for me look a little bit nicer. Obviously don't add like extreme motion blur because you still want to see the photo, but a little bit of motion blur will help just, you know, help sell the effect um, right there. So at the end of the day, basically right here, you have this top layer, which is the motion blur, just to help sell it, make it look a lot nicer. This layer is the football right here, where you basically just keyframe the position and the scale. So the football is uh, floating over with the position, and the scale is going right here, so the position and the scale is changing right there. Obviously, you have a draw mask. Um, to cut it out and then right here you have two draw masks the one to cut out Tyree Kill I create a compound clip to then cut out this portion right um, right here and then all I did was I just key from the mask so Tyree Kill would start to zoom in and then this right here is just the background layer right here all I did was I keyframed the scale right there just so the scale would zoom out and there we go that's how you create that really cool effect basically at the end of the day it's just a whole bunch of different layers on top of each other masked out so you can individually move um, each layer where the, the, the subject is coming zooming in while the background is zooming out and you could add even more layers I could add another subject I could have Patrick Mahomes zooming in at a different speed there's a whole bunch of different options basically what you want to just think of it as is just different layers and you just keep stacking on top of each other kind of like a collage until you get the effect um, that you want. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 210 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.